Hi everyone and welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how I made over this dollhouse that I found on Facebook Marketplace for 50 bucks and turned it into something absolutely beautiful. Now, I'm not just showing you before and afters, but I'm also gonna be showing you the steps in between that made me come to the end result. So here is this Melissa and Doug two-story dollhouse that I found on Facebook Marketplace. I had to jump on this immediately because I saw it and it looked like it had never been used. Even though some like to keep a dollhouse pink and purple like this one, I love to put a modern twist on it and kind of give it a real house kind of feel. And so that's what I did with this one. And it came with all this great furniture, like I said, and I was really excited to get started and kind of bring my vision to life. Another great thing is that it actually came with these little people and I can't wait to give them the best home possible for them. So anyways, let's get started with the first steps. So the first thing that I did was obviously remove all of the furniture in the house because I wanted to first take everything apart. And if you don't know, if you're new to my channel, I have done a few doll houses. I think this may be around my sixth or fifth. I've kind of lost count. And I like to take my doll houses apart before I make them over, just because it is so much easier to work with everything, to paint everything, and to add those details without trying to cram yourself into the dollhouse. So I usually do that and then I'll put each of the screws in a Ziploc bag, I'll label them so I know where they go when I go to reassemble it later. So I totally thought that I had broke the dollhouse at this point, but basically that crack was just some glue coming apart from the floors. So thankful I didn't break anything. And now everything is disassembled and ready to paint. All right, so I've taped up these two sides of the dollhouse that I disassembled and the stuff that I taped, I wanna keep natural wood for now. I'm not sure if I'm gonna stain it yet, but the rest of it, I'm actually gonna be spray painting white. Um, so it kind of gives me a blank canvas. And so if I want to change any colors, I can because everything has been primed basically. So that's what I'm gonna do now. I've set up some cardboard down on my garage floor. Um, sometimes I use garbage bags, but since I'm having my garage door open. I don't want a breeze to come in and <laughs> flip over the garbage bags. I'm using cardboard today. Um, make sure you're in a very ventilated space because you don't want to inhale a lot of fumes. And I'm also wearing, wearing a mask. As you can kind of tell, it's a little bit muffled. Um, you want, definitely want to protect yourself from the fumes from the spray paint. So anyways, let's get started. So first coat is now drying and we'll wait to do our second and third. Once I was finished painting the exterior walls of the dollhouse, I went and moved on to hand painting the doors. Now I totally could have spray painted these, but I just decided to hand paint them a specific color that I had instead of doing black or white or some other color that I had. And to be honest with you, this part was extremely tedious as it was very difficult to paint the doors because they swung open. And so it took a bit of time, that's for sure. Also, it's funny because I went and taped a lot of these portions of the house that I thought I wanted to keep natural wood. But as you can see in the reveal later, I decided not to keep them natural looking. And so I actually ended up painting them white. So a lot of times when I'm making a dollhouse, I will kind of improvise or kind of see how things are looking. And if I'm not liking it, I can totally change it. So that's kind of what happened here. But anyway, it's super satisfying to see that tape come away anyway. So 
And now moving on to the flooring of the dollhouse. So I actually had debated on whether to stain the floor because it was natural wood. I was like, this is a great opportunity to do that. But I decided to save some time and energy and just use some contact paper, um, which had wood um, design on it anyway, and it turned out really well. So usually I will use these in my dollhouses because it's a great cost-effective way to put in floors and it looks really good. So usually I'll just roll it out, make sure there's no air bubbles in there, and then I will use my X-Acto knife to cut off the excess. Okay, so I know this looks like a total mess, but it's because I'm just finishing up the wallpaper on the dollhouse. So I've done the flooring, I've done the paint, and I know not everyone wants like a pink and purple or like pink dollhouse in their home. And so I thought I'd just go with more of a black and white kind of neutral theme. So I think it's gonna look really good. I still have to paint all the furniture, the stairs and everything, but the main house is coming together. Okay, so doing wallpaper in the dollhouse was actually the most difficult dollhouse I have done to date, just because there were so many things that needed to be cut out. And it was definitely difficult with the doors and the windows and just the shape of the house. But I'm so thankful I took it apart because it would be such a pain to do this without that. So anyway, I will usually use scrapbook paper to use as wallpaper in the dollhouses. It's usually the perfect size. I usually don't have to use too many for one wall, but this one definitely needed some putting together as the top attic portion was definitely the most difficult. So once I finished all the wallpaper and all the paint, then I decided it was time to put the dollhouse back together. And so that's what I did here. So once I had the dollhouse put back together, which is like doing a big puzzle, I decided to move on to the furniture of the house. So basically what I did is I went ahead and just taped a lot of the furniture of the parts that I wanted to keep the natural wood, and then I spray painted the rest. And that's what I'm doing here, just peeling that tape off all the furniture, and it's super satisfying to see how amazing it looks after. One of the extra things that I actually bought for this dollhouse were these wooden shutters. I actually found these on Amazon and they were the perfect size for this house. And I knew it was going to add just so much to the exterior of this house. So I painted them black and I put them on every single one of the windows and I just love how they turned out. It made it look like so finished and so polished and they just fit perfectly. I couldn't believe it. So now moving on to some of the smaller details inside of the house, 
I am starting to make some plants. Now I'll use these wooden beads that I found at my local dollar store. And then I will take some artificial or fake plants that I found at Michael's or the dollar store. And usually I'll just use my hot glue. I'll put some on the end and I'll just stick it inside that bead. And there you have a tiny little plant for your dollhouse. It's super simple, super easy, and you can make a ton of them in such a short period of time. So it may be kind of difficult to find small little pillows for your dollhouse. And so I like to make my own. Here I'm making a blanket for the bed. And I usually just find some fabric that I have on hand or I'll actually go to the fabric store and find some that I'm looking for for this house. And then of course these little pillows are so fun and I went ahead and just stuffed them up and sewed them together. And there you have some little pillows and blankets for the dollhouse. So next I am actually making the only piece of furniture that I added to this house, which was the fireplace. Now I always feel like a living room is not complete without a fireplace in my doll houses. And so this is such a simple fireplace that I'm making. And usually I will just cut out some foam board to make the base to kind of get an idea of what size and what I want it to look like. And then I will actually use popsicle sticks or craft sticks to put on the outside to make them make it look like wood. And then I will paint it if I like to the desired color that I want. that I did on this dollhouse was just give it a few little touch-ups to complete everything to make sure everything is looking perfect polished and put together and now that everything is done who is ready for the big reveal I know I am Overall, I think this dollhouse may be one of my absolute favorites. I had such a fun time making this one over and just adding the little details. I did try to make this as simple as possible just because I want this dollhouse to be able to be played with with kids that are maybe a little bit younger too. And things just really came together. I love how neutral it is, kind of the black and white, just really pull it together. And I can't believe that it's finished. It feels so good. Now, of course, I love to add lighting to my dollhouses as well. And these are actually just some battery operated lights that you can just twist on and off and change the batteries inside. And they are perfect because they are super kid friendly and they can turn them off and on themselves. And it just makes it look so much better and just adds so much depth to this dollhouse. And I love it. So that concludes this dollhouse makeover video. I hope you did enjoy it. I hope you enjoyed seeing the process of what it takes me to make a dollhouse over. If you did, make sure you guys do subscribe, hit the like button, and we'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys. Thank you.